It's continuing our weather team coverage. It's cold in a lot of places right now. Temperatures 10, 20, even 30 degrees or more below zero. Yeah, the dangerous Arctic air gripping much of the Midwest, the upper Northeast. Wind chill making it really bad. Meteorologist Jessica Van Meter in studio breaking down the difference in the air temperature, explaining how that wind chill can dramatically impact as we know here how we actually feel here. Yeah, it absolutely impacts how we feel. This cold snap that we're talking about, the air temperatures are staying below zero for an extended period of time. The system also has sustained winds around 15 to 25 miles per hour for many areas. And that combination of cold air and strong winds creates that wind chill. You can see the exact math at the bottom of the graph there, but the general idea is that the colder the air and the stronger the wind, the lower the wind chill. The wind chill is basically how the it, air interacts with the skin if you go outside and it can also be used to determine how long it will take for frostbite to develop. We're going to take a look at a few examples using this chart. For example, right now Chicago has an air temperature of zero degrees. Their wind is about 21 miles per hour. So that gives us a wind chill of about negative 22 degrees in Chicago right now. International Falls, Minnesota, they're currently sitting at negative 20 degrees. The wind is about 18 miles per hour. Hour, wind chill gets all the way down to negative 48 degrees. That's about 10 minutes until frostbite time with exposed skin. Fargo, North Dakota also negative 25 degrees right now. Winds about 22 miles per hour. You get down to negative 55, the feels like index right there. So these wind chills obviously very dangerous. This cold should always be taken seriously. That's why many schools will be shut down across the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes this week. Kids should never be at recess or at the bus stop when temperatures get this cold. A lot of offices, government places also closing because of these cold temperatures. Always watching out for you. Meteorologist Jessica Van Meter, News 5.